Hi guys, you're welcome once again to my YouTube channel and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my eye whitening technique and also posting a free action that I created out of this technique I'll be sharing with you. So, um, but before we do that, if you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, like this video, share this video so others can come and watch and also turn on post notifications so when I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. Without wasting so much time, let's proceed into this. So the first thing I get to do, as you can see, this image has already been had already been edited. I've done all the skin work and everything that needs to be done here. The only outstanding here is just the fact that we have to like clean up the eyes. Now, the mistake a lot of people make when it comes to eye whitening is that they feel um, you just have to like whiten the eyes. But the thing is this, what you're actually doing is that you are cleaning up the eyes while preserving the details so the details is like a very important aspect because if you do not preserve the details the eyes is going to look fake your image might look as real as possible but the eyes will look quite fake so um we proceed by doing this the first thing i get to do is that i click on my adjustment panel and i eat my black and white yeah and you can see there are a lot of splitted colors when you come to this um, panel here you can see the properties of this command here you have red yellow green cyan blues and magenta now you go back and you look into your eyes and look at the colors you can actually see you see a lot of red we see oranges and to a large extent blue so you turn this back on and the first thing i guess is i pull out my reds a little bit and i pull out my yellows a little bit because those are the dominant colors there in the eyes um then just a little bit of the blues now next thing i get to do is i invert this layer and what i what i use in doing that is i eat on command i on my keyboard and yeah straight up i can see it's totally disappeared yeah so the next thing we get to do is i already have my brush selected so if you do not have your brush selected you come and you select your brush and move your foreground um, color to white then you zoom into the eyes flow at 50 right so you can see i'm working with 50 and you clean through the eyes you will see the difference while doing this so one thing you can notice is that we are cleaning the eyes you can still see the veins within our eyes it's still being seen those are the details in our eyes and you must make sure you do not take that out you understand so then we go to the left eye from my view uh, then we clean through you can see we're cleaning through the eyes carefully yeah good good so let me clean this base area too good so we're cleaning through the eyes you can see uh before after before after before after very good so the next thing i get to do here is simple i'll come to my panel here increase my levels a little bit and pull out my highlights i put on my levels and pull out my highlights as you can see then the next thing i do is that i power clip i clip this into this mask so when i click on this it affects what i had done here so you see before after and see that has added some level of luminance to the eyes the highlighted area so now the final thing i get to do is i come here to my photo filter and i click on my cooling filter the first one here i reduce the density a little bit Sorry, that's still a little bit good. Then I uh, clip this in as well. So you said before, after. So now eyes are normally, when you see a newborn baby, one thing you notice is that the eyes look quite kind of cold. So that's like the default mode the eyes is meant to look like, a little cold you get. So um, so that's why I'm doing actually doing this. So to set the temperature of the eyes, the temperature of the eyes, sorry. You understand so now all i'm just going to do here will be that i'm just going to group this and label it ice then i can come here and say before after you can see how clean that is then if you if you like you can reduce this to like 80 percent and you still see you have the eyes so we came in from here and look at where we are now one little thing I'm going to touch is that in case you have some little things in the eyes that you feel should not be there, like this um, eyebrows and, oh, I'm sorry, isn't it? yeah, the eyebrows spinning in 
sorry, or what's this? The lashes, rather. You have the lashes spilling into the eyes and all that. And we match that layer separately, and you can just click on your spot alien brush and you can come here and take out the things you don't want to see within the eyes so you just carefully take it out so then this spot here you can carefully take it out then move to the next left eye from my view then take this out the ones that needs to be taken out take this out take this out Take this out. Yeah. So you're only taking out the things that are necessary. So we can literally take all of this out. So yeah. Yes. Good. So we've successfully worked on our eye and we've brought it from this to this. Now, one thing you've noticed is that this eye looks as realistic as possible. You've literally just cleaned up the eyes, not making the eyes look totally terrible and unrealistic so if you like this video kindly hit the like button and like i said earlier share this video so others can come to watch catch you guys next time have a wonderful time guys